Hello, hello guys, this is Shar. Welcome back to the channel. Now this is part three of the little short clip videos that I've been doing of Marceau from Love and Mary Townsville and Cliff from Bell Collective, their discussion that they had on Carlos King's YouTube channel discussing their views on their perspective shows and reality tv in general and the mindset of the fans of these said shows now cliff is smart like i said he he knows he is a sharp cookie as it relates to this reality tv business he hasn't been in it very long what i think bell collective has been on for what two three years um you know he he's he's just hip to it and he's smart and not only that he's not living a fake life in terms of you know trying to make the viewers think this or that or you know what i mean and it may be because he has the money, like he has the funds. His business, like I said, I think is a tree cutting service or something like that. Apparently it does a lot of business, a lot of customers or whatever. Um, you know, he, he doesn't have to put on a show or any airs as it relates to his finances because obviously the business makes that kind of money. However, as it relates to this fool, you know, they're not making that kind of money yet. They And they may, they may, you know, they may, or they may not ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just because you have a bar, restaurant, lounge, or whatever black is considered, um, doesn't mean that you're going to start making money hand over foot if you don't know how to manage it. And not to mention, if you don't have that kind of business where you, tons and tons of people are coming in there where you are making a heck of a profit. I'm not saying they're not making a profit, but you know, they're not there yet. And their life shows that they're not there yet. You know, they can't even pretend that they're millionaires. They try, they definitely try, but they fall short. And Marceau thinks that the viewers can't see that. And the man just told you he's no actor. He's no trained actor. He's not a veteran in reality TV. He's a regular person, civilian person that has a uh, regular job. He's, he's cutting down trees for a living, for God's sake. And this man told you out of his own mouth that people can see through the lies <laughs> and and Marceau does not believe that, which is why their life looks fake. It looks and you know it looks like they lying about a lot of stuff. So yeah, I mean the man just told you out of his own mouth. But this clip is even funnier than the last. This clip, um, Marceau proceeds to tell Cliff about how Stormy was taking enjoyment in calling him a bee and the purpose of her calling him a bee was solely f to get a reaction out of him you know some people love to get reactions out of people she wanted to get a reaction out of him and he vowed in his head that he was not going to take the bait because uh his mother told him if you know people if you bark like a dog don't bark or whatever i don't know you have to listen to the interview to know what the heck he was talking about. But yeah, so he basically asked Cliff, what would you do in that same scenario? You know, if one of the girls um, called you a bee right in front of your face. <laughs> and what he said tripped Marceau out because, you know, when Marceau get tripped out, He's at a loss of words, which is rare. You know, he's always talking mess. When he don't have anything to say, that means he's stripped up. So when the man, Cliff, answered the question and said, well, and he had to think about it. Like he processed the question so he could really give a solid, honest answer. And when he thought about it, his reply was, uh, 
I don't think they would do that. I don't think I'd be in that situation because I'm not in the woman's business. It's like, boom. <laughs> he knows. He probably has watched the show a little bit. You know what I mean? And he knows that Marceau be in the business. He be in the woman's business, talking mess with them, saying this, saying that. And if he doesn't watch the show, he figured for one of the women to call you a B, then you must be in their business. You know, dibbing and dapping, saying this, saying that. And, and this is why you got called that, point blank in the period. So, yeah, uh, Cliff is on it. Like, he ain't no fool. As it relates to this reality show thing. And um, Marceau didn't really agree with him on hardly anything on the first half of this little um, discussion that they had. Because this man is real. This man ain't faking. And he letting Marceau know that these fans know what time it is. You can't be sitting up here trying to create some type of false narrative because they're going to see through it because things are not going to add up. Dodo. <sighs> anyway, that's all I really had to say on this. It's just that it's so funny <laughs> because this man is on point and Marceau really can't stand it because he thought he was going to side with him on so many things. But... He he's not because Marceau is on an island by itself. The island is called fakeness. You guys drop down in the comments, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, bye. Stormy called me a bitch, and the right. first time you ever call a grown man a bitch because you want him to respond, right? Right. right. And and I, I, I think that I, I think that I love the fact that women respect their husbands and they look up to their husbands. No one's afraid of women's husbands, right? It's like, every, every, we all men in here, right? So it's not like you're just here, just here. But it's like, so she calls me a bitch, and I'm thinking, okay, how do I respond? So my thing is that she wanted me to respond. Right. And, I, and my thing is, I'm just not going to give you that, I'm not going to give you that energy. So my question to you is, what would that happen? What would, what would happen if, if that happened to you? If, like, somebody on the show, like, to Letitia, called you a bitch, what would you do? I can answer it. I wouldn't know. I don't think. No, nah, because I don't think they're going to call me a bitch. Cause I, I, I don't get into female business. Like, I try to stay away from it. That's just me.